Joining us now in the studio is Paul Brainerd, the president of Aldous Corporation, and sitting next to Paul, Roger Archibald, product marketing manager for Hewlett Packard's printer division. Gary? Paul, if I go out and buy a desktop publishing package, what can I do with it? What it allows you to do is use your personal computer to integrate text and graphics and put it together on a page and print it out on a laser printer. Mm -hmm. You get a high quality result that then can be reproduced on an office copy machine or at your local print shop. It sort of takes the place of mechanical typesetting? Yes, it does. Now, what uh, kind of customers do you find? Who are you selling this to? Very broad. There's mm -hmm. over 30,000 users of PageMaker in the first year, and we find it to be corporations, individuals, artists, uh, a very broad segment of, of business and nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. How about showing us page, PageMaker? Sure. What I have here is the PC version of PageMaker, and we're going to create a small publication. Mm -hmm. One of the first things you'll notice is that we're using a graphics environment, or a graphics user interface, in this case Microsoft Windows, which allows us to have pull-down menus and make it easy to learn and use. I'm going to create a new publication, and it's going to come up with a dialogue, what we call a dialogue, asking me how many pages I'd like and what paper size. I'm going to create a 16-page newsletter click on OK, and the computer will go off and create my publication and then present me with a blank page. One of the things that I can easily do and one of the things I want to first change is my type specifications for my publication. In this case, I'd like my type to be Times Roman, and I have this set up for the HP LaserJet, so I'm going to select a 10-point type style in Times Roman. Now I'm going to switch to pages two and three. I'll come. We'll forget about page one right okay. at the moment. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I'm going to put some column guides up on the page. It's going to ask me how many columns. I can have up to 20 columns on the page. I'm going to put two columns on my publication. Now I'm ready to bring in the text and graphics. The key command in PageMaker is place, and it means place text and graphics mm -hmm. files. And it's going to give me a list of the various image files, graphics such as WordStar, Moldimate, Microsoft Word. And what I'm going to do is come down here and select a scanned image that I've done with a scanner, something we're going to talk about later in the show. And I get a little icon here of a paintbrush and it's asking me, where do I want to put my scanned image on the page? I'm going to put it in the upper left-hand corner, click the mouse button, and it reads the scanned image on the page. Now let's go to place again, and I'm going to place some text. In this case, it's a file that I created with Multimate, a word processor. Um, for the PC that, that many corporate clients use. And I'm going to take a file called tips document and it'll read it into the memory of the computer and then we're going to place it into the columns that I've set up on the page. My cursor changes into an icon, in this case a text block indicating we're going to place text. I click the mouse button, it reads the text file and composes it to fit within the columns. And if this was justified text, it would actually hyphenate the text mm -hmm. for me. We're going to Flow it into that column. I have a little more text, so I'm going to click on the plus at the bottom of the first column and then bring it over into the second column. Now we're working in a reduced size on a double spread here. Uh, I'm going to zoom up on the page. We can work in any of five different sizes, but I'm going to zoom up to actual size on the page. And now we can actually read the text, uh, look at the graphic, um, and edit the text if we want. No, to. If you were to edit the text, do you add anything to it? Can you cause it to flow automatically throughout the whole yes, document? Yes, it'll okay, flow through cool. the columns. Now, um, this question about the, uh, how important has the laser printer been, Roger, in the whole advent of the desktop publishing? Well, the laser printer was really one of the key hardware elements that started desktop publishing. Mm -hmm. Finally, it put in the hands of the PC user the ability to create high quality output uh, local to their PC. Can you have some examples? Yeah. Sir? Yes. Uh, it sh this shows some of the capabilities of being able to use multiple fonts and different type styles on a page, which mm -hmm. the laser printer has the capabilities to do. Also, the ability to create electronic forms and then merge the data in with those forms. And then lastly, some of the output that would come from a page composition system right. like PageMaker is mixed text and graphics on a single page showing a variety of font styles. And uh, no, Paul, you have some examples of the complete documents here also. Yes. And the newsletter that I was producing on the page, this is a customer's newsletter for a, a higher education consortium in Missouri. Um, here is a data sheet from Harris Semiconductors where they're producing their data sheets with PageMaker. Again, the integration of the text and graphics. 
This is interesting in that it represents some of the nonprofit uses. This is a short fiction quarterly that's produced back in Massachusetts. And personally, I, I get a lot of gratification from seeing these types of documents. Well, you demonstrated PageMaker on an HP Vector, which is yes. an AT compatible. Do you need an AT to run PageMaker? We would recommend it because PageMaker is an example of an application that's really pushing the boundaries of what microcomputers can do today in terms of text and graphics. But you could use an XT computer. Uh, and particularly with an enhancement to it to increase the speed. Roger, briefly, you have to explain DDL, the document description language that HP has chosen to use, and why you picked that over PostScript or other possibilities. Yes, we took and studied for two years page description language and, and looked at the three major leaders in that area. We adopted DDL primarily because it complemented the HP business segment that we were after. People working on larger documents, networked environments, and it complemented the current HP printer command language that is in LaserJet right now. Mm -hmm. Briefly, one other question. I know both you guys' companies, HP and Aldis, has gotten together with Microsoft now on some kind of uh, alliance. Tell me about that. Well, that alliance is primarily targeted in, in marketing and promotion activities. The three companies have found that in promoting uh, desktop publishing together, that Microsoft with the Windows environment, Aldis with PageMaker as a page composition system, and then the Hewlett Packard LaserJet and Vectra PC were able to go out and promote that to help uh, the desktop publishing in the MS-DOS environment. Get it going in the MS-DOS world. Provide a solution for our customers.